Okay, folks, like usual, we're going to wait just a few minutes, so enjoy the visuals and the music. Our buddy, Stevie Houdini, who we all know and love. Um, and if you don't know and love him, go watch him. He's playing Final Fantasy VII. He's replaying it because he's played it like a million times. Um, he is going to do a quick raid. So you can watch the fun that just happened with the big car or uh, plane or whatever crash and, and Sid and all that. And then you can come on over here to chill, depending on your time zone. That might be exactly what you need. So I'm going to go on mute for just a minute, and that's just while we wait for, I don't want to um, rush Steve, so probably about five more minutes. Well, hello. <laughs> Hi, everybody. SD, thank you so much for raiding. Um, you know, I always feel like such an ass popping into someone else's stream and being like, do you mind? Do you mind raiding? Oh, no, no powers. <laughs> but yeah, I. do you guys want me? I'm going to list the percentages. It was, hold on, let me look, because it shows me what my, it was like super close. Um, Gosh dang it, where the heck did it go? Oh, here it is. It was 51.7% to 48.3%. How freaking close is that? <laughs> so, 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 so close. So, um, I will warn you guys that I do have the pupper men in the room with me. Um, got home and Andy decided to eat an entire bag of granola, but luckily, um, no ingredients in it that are too, too bad. Yeah, and there were just so many, uh, so many rays. <laughs> so many um, mods on my channel because I love all of you and it's like I want to make everybody a mod so I had to be real picky um, I had to uh, I think I limited it to like SD and that's about it because he really is the best mod and yeah that's about it oh no Newman had to walk poor guy we call those um, LPCs leather personnel carriers in the military so as always let me know on sound let me know on visuals any kind of technical stuff you guys are welcome quick disclaimer um i have a day job this is not it any views expressed are my own um and of course i'm here for you guys the money i make goes to charity so uh, we will be picking a new charity very shortly um i don't know you guys let me know in the chat uh, i kind of like to focus on i think four main things um animals veterans health mental health and gaming um, and if there's anything that combines those, then awesome. I know there are a bunch of organizations that combine um, 
few of those different things. So let me know if there's any organizations or particular causes you feel like this month. Um, bonsoir, quick, and hello, Naomi, and everybody else, Vlad, um, that I'm seeing in the chat. Okay, so, oh, you know what I didn't do? Let me pull up YouTube real quick, because you know I can't do without my guides, just in case. Um, can't do without my guides, and I can't do without Andy Pandy. So we'll see if he pops back in right quick. Unravel. Guide. And I love it for those of you who do walkthroughs or guides when you put them in, um, like, playlists because it just makes it so much easier. Okay, I think we were on, where were we, guys? Where were we? What chapter were we on? We did down a hole, didn't we? Or no, that's the one we're on. We're on down a hole. Is Ollie here? He'll say phrasing, I'm sure. Wow, apparently there's a pacifist achievement. <laughs> Who knew? Okay. Um, okay. Why wouldn't it let me... There we go. There we go. And I can't remember, guys. Did I, like, give up? Had I been doing this and I suddenly gave up? Did I just, like, suddenly give up? <laughs> oh, man. Well, and here's the other thing about mods, guys. Like, like I don't want SD to feel pressured to watch my stream if he doesn't have the time or the, the energy or he falls asleep and snores. Um, it was so cute. We should have recorded it, but we didn't want to violate his privacy. Maybe Ollie did record it and he listens to it at night now. Who knows? A little creepy, right? But, uh, yeah, so it's hard because I never, I never want anybody, let me remember my buttons real quick, to feel obligated, okay, cool, to come and watch streams if they don't have the time. Whee! Okay, let's see. I never know if it's a stump like that, if it's, like, in the way. <laughs> Poor guy. <gasps> Yikes! I feel like this may be, like, where they introduce the, um, other than, what did we name? Oh, gosh. Oh, not chill at all. I wonder if this is where we introduce conflict that's not, um, what did we name the mole in the last level? Handy named him. Ah. something with an H. I know SD and it's like, thank you. Somebody, who was it? Was it Lawman who wrote a post about feeling slightly guilty when he misses people's streams? I feel the exact same way and I try to go watch them all back so you guys at least get like a view count. Um, but yeah. Oh, and for those of you on YouTube, yeah, it was Hans. That's, that's right. It was Hans. Um, thank you, Em. That was so not chill. And I do have caffeine with me, guys. It's been a day. It's been a day at work, so I definitely needed, I need this stream probably just as much as you guys do today. Oh, I bet I know what this is. I'm getting better at these puzzles, I think. So, uh... For those of you who watch on YouTube later, or if you are watching on YouTube and you're listening to me right now, um, feel free to leave stuff in the comments if you're like, you missed this, you idiot. <laughs> I actually do go back and read comments wherever they may be. How do I climb back up? Oh, I probably have to swing. Ha! Back up, back up. Oh, that's right, the X button. Go down. 
Hi Mitsu, good to see you. Um, guys, I got, I was really surprised at all the people in the Death Stranding stream on Monday. And let me know, was it because I was playing Death Stranding or the time of day or because the lovely Shell Claire was there? Um, let me know because I'm always curious how I end up with new people coming and watching. And there are a lot of us that are new to streaming in the chat and, you know, any little bit of intel is helpful. So let us know. Is there something up here? No, I think it's just over there. Yeah, and there's another gal that I really want to get back in, guys. She goes by Lady Maria, and it is that Lady Maria. It's the Bloodborne Lady Maria that she goes by. She's got like over 800 hours in on Bloodborne. And uh, she knows her stuff. So particularly for the new folks, um, I don't know if I've mentioned, but on Friday, um, I'm planning to do like a boss fight extravaganza. And of course I'm selfish, just like with the Chalice Dungeons I made S where I made SD and, uh, and Ollie do all of the work for me. Where was the listen to tiny option? What listen to tiny option? What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> Don't have a mod. You totally should have a mod. It's it's nice. Hey, um, Handy Glance. Nice to see you too. But uh, oh yeah, I'm on New Game Plus for if you're talking about um, um, Undertale. Uh, in fact, I need to go back. And the only stuff I have left on the plat is involves like in-game currency. So I really need to like. Oh gosh. I guess I don't have any string left. Yeah, the only stuff I have left involves in game currency, so I need to just bite the bullet and like sit with my Vita at some point and just do it. But what was I saying? Yeah, on Friday I'd like to do a boss fight extravaganza. Um, I know, right? 800 hours. Fantastic, if you ask me. Because like so so helpful right if you have a question she's played it enough times that you, you can just ask and she'll know um, but again because I'm selfish I'd like to have folks help me with uh, spoilers Garmin in the moon presence and then maybe we can go back and uh, there's a couple of the folks who want to do the last boss fight together and that would be amazing and then we can also um, we can also do other bosses at the end. So let's say someone's stuck on like the cleric beast, or someone's stuck on something that they haven't had the confidence to do by their themselves. By themselves, I uh, I use words for a living. <laughs> by themselves, I'd like to get that done too, uh, because I really do mean it. Like I know I did not ever think that this would be a game I would. What am I jumping for? Oh, I know what it is. I did not think this was a game that I would be any good at, let alone enjoy. And I was just doing it to, you know, kind of see. So I, uh, I really want other people to at least get their first boss fight done before they make a choice, because that feeling of euphoria, man, once you get, oh, more rocks. What do you bet they're gonna slide? Um, that feeling of euphoria just can't be beat. Oh, I get what this is. Ah, dang it. I probably have to do it from far away. Promsoft, yeah, eight, 100 hours. I agree on Undertale, and here's why. Toby Fox has said this too. He said, no other game that I make is going to be Undertale, guys. So just, you know, be prepared for that. Because it's not overly pretentious about the commentary that it makes, and it's got these cute little Easter eggs, and the characters are so endearing. And, man, I just want to know how he got there, because it was him. The music's great. And actually, that's a game where when people ask me, like, quick, you asked if you should get a Vita. I think Undertale's more fun on a Vita. Um, I think there are a lot of games that are more fun on a Vita. Partly because you can take it with you, but also partly just because of, like, the tactile input and stuff that you get. Um, for example, like, I played, um... I played the Switcher. Oh, I am playing the Switcher on Vita. Oh, why? Why? Oh, maybe I had to run back to that other... Um, yeah, Papyrus' Totes Bay. Did you do the dating part yet? 
there is dating in Undertale, for those who haven't played it. Um, but yeah, the tactile details on the Vita makes this game so much more fun. Like, Jarvan and I have, I, I think I cite this example a lot, Jarvan and I have a disagreement about Burly Men at Sea. And part of why I liked it is because I would just lay in bed and like, do the, yeah, <laughs> do the, um, do the touchscreen parts. Yeah, Kickstarter. Well, I know how he got, um, and that it was Earthbound that kind of inspired him. He did, like, mods for Earthbound, right? But, um, I guess more what I'm talking about is, like, how did he get the concepts for what he wanted to do in the... Didn't I just jump last time I did this? Oh, that's right, I used the thing. Um, like, you know, I just always... People that have such creative ideas, I always just wish I could see into their brain and their pro their process, to use a creator term. I can't remember, SD. I don't think I did, I don't think I dated both of them. So I try. I did a pacifist run on the first. And I, uh, I somehow missed Undyne because you can do a pacifist run on your first go through. It's not easy. Well, I guess that thing is just too close. <laughs> it made like a squishing noise just now. I don't know if you guys heard that. Very disconcerting. Yeah, same, same thing. Same, same on uh, as, as Ollie hates hearing. Same, same with Kojima and Death Stranding. Or let's ask Kojima how he came up with any of it, right? Uh, he does have a team of writers, which I, I think... It's one of those, I actually had this happen at work today, where you assume somebody knows something and then you think about it for a second and you're like, wait a minute. I bet you that if I asked about this, they wouldn't, they wouldn't actually know. So I should put this, you know, either write this or let somebody know or whatever. But um, he has a team of writers and there was this one writer that worked on Metal Gear that like disappeared at some point or I don't know if that's an urban legend. But uh Pretty sure that I'm pretty sure it's true. Hi, Ali. Ali the bear says hello, everybody. He's not actually a bear. He's a great big English shepherd, huh, bear? Yeah, come here. Come sit with mom. We're just gonna pause a second while I get some puppy love. If you guys are lucky, he'll grumble at you in the mic. You gonna grumble, big guy? Mainly, we're watching Andrews because of the it's birthday cake granola that we got at Costco, and he ate like two-thirds of the bag because that's what was left after we mod a good chunk of it. So it's mostly sugar and oats. Um, you have to be careful, of course. Uh, public service announcement. Xylitol in dogs. Um, you'd be dead if there was any xylitol or certain fake sweeteners in there. Oh gosh. Ah! Oh, got lucky on that one. Oh, but it flattened it. Well, I guess I was able to climb back up. Um, but yeah, xylitol and dogs, so like gum. Can't do it. Your is so quiet, it nudges my leg to it. Oh, is Frogo the name of, of your puppers? Oh, doggy, not Fago. I was like, is Fago an acronym that I missed? Or a cute name for a dog that I don't know? See so guys, commentary. I love when games do stuff like this, like, don't go in the green liquid. It is not good for you. I bet you I was supposed to like... Yeah. <laughs> I bet you I was supposed to stay on top of it. Oh no! Oh my gosh! <laughs> so not chill. Leia, is she, um, what does she look like? What kind of doggo is she? Is she a muttly mutt? I love me some muttly mutt. Okay, or maybe I can't get underneath that. Hmm, let's think about this. You know what I do love? Because of the delay between my screen here and Twitch, I get an extra second to, like, I guess it won't do it until I'm on top of it. I'm gonna try and go back because there's gotta be a way you can go back and get that uh, 
that little bauble that they have under there. Hey, I ask this all the time. She's a golden? Oh, such a good dog. There's got to be, um, if any of you knit or crochet, I ask this every week we play Unravel, but, you know, I'm always curious. I do you yarn crafts. Same thing, so when I was, like, in second, third grade, we'd play Star Wars, and, of course, you know, I'd always want to be laid up. Because, comma, Carrie Fisher. Guys, I hope we get to a chill section again, but I think, like I said, this is probably the part of the game where we we get conflict. We introduce conflict. Ooh, interesting. Oh, I've got a swing. Ooh, learning to knit. Knitting is super, um, so I, I find, you know, like, you knit or you crochet. There are people who do both, but I've not met many. I crochet. Weird. I wonder how I'm supposed to do this part. Maybe higher? Ali, how do I do this part, huh? I think I just have to get more strength. that thing where your doggo is so happy you're home that they just keep wanting to put their nose under your hand when it's on the controller because they're jealous. That's right. I keep forgetting. Um, so Lady Quick Hatch is a crafting um, extraordinaire, crafter extraordinaire, artisan, right? Is that what we say? Do we say artisan? But uh, I told your, your lovely husband that I, t I wish you could do a yarny for me, but he warned me that I can't add to your backlog of crafts. <laughs> so. We're somewhere safe, let me scroll back up. Yeah, unfortunately I was melted. Hey guys, for when he comes back into the chat, um, I think Andy's got pub quiz tonight, right? So we can ask him how it went. Hey, let's see if I can glitch this out again. Anybody remember that from last week? Maybe I just go all the way. Okay. Ooh. Yes, Mr. Bear, may I help you? May I help you? Hi. Here's the other thing we always... Oh no, he's been drawing. Guys, this is one of those moments where I'm going to say, don't smell this, it's gross, or don't look at this, it's, you know, whatever. There's nothing on there. Ooh. All right, guys. As much as I want to keep an eye on you and make sure that you don't throw up Andy. I know you want to leave him. That was mom. Let me out. Okay, so there was some, uh, you have to come me on the mic for 30 minutes. Sure, yeah, let me hop out. Guys, we've got a, a guest. She does still have her mod rights. Well, I didn't know if Shell was going to be able to, you know, she works. I work. SD works. You never know who's going to be able to pop in. Okay, let me, let's get this party started. So, for those of you new, this is what we call ghosting. So you get somebody else on the mic to help read the chat. And I, like, never have people do it for me on Wednesdays, so I'm pretty pumped. <laughs> you don't work very hard. Um, but, yeah, so this way I can, especially with the setup in my new room, it's, like, hard for me to see the screen and the chat at the same time. I really need to get off my duff and do some work with, like, Streamlabs or something. Oh, I'm so, mm, so nervous about this. Uh, ah! 
Ah, here she is. Yeah, you need to come up with some. I was talking with someone about entry music today and how I get so nervous when I do that when I'm like being a jerk and hopping onto Quick's <laughs> stream, but it's so fun. Ooh, guys, I wonder how to do this part. So how are you? How are hey, you? Hey, Greg. Hey, Lady Quick, and hey, uh, SD and Peyton as well. Wow. Yeah, we've got a nice oh, little quite group. Quite yeah, yeah, a lot going on. Yeah. So how was how was your day? How was your day? Uh, it wasn't too bad actually. It was it was long, but it was also not too pressured. It was oh, just good. long because it was a, a big job, not necessarily. Uh, yeah. Not necessarily so a bad good. job, just a big job. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. How was yours? Good. Same thing. I had a writing project and not too much else, but you know, it takes time and you want to do a good job. I don't think it's going to let you jump. Yeah. Out. Yeah. So. Um, have you played on Did you um, Did you enjoy your Monday off? <laughs> oh my gosh! So you guys may not know, I accidentally um, streamed for five hours. <laughs> yeah, it was five! <laughs> it was five hours! I don't know when I'm gonna have time to go back and watch it. No, it was, but I thought it was four! No, it was Death Stranding! I didn't want to do that. No, it was five! Yeah, we streamed Death Stranding. <gasps> Oh, it's the curse of me. Whenever I'm on a stream, it always lasts long. I mean, you've been on mine, and they always, I always say it's, it's going to be an hour and a half. And <laughs> yeah, uh, let me respond to Peyton real quick. So, Peyton, when it has that little extra thing, you can't untie it, and I had, an, I was running out of thread, so I had to, like, do this. What I'm wondering is, what's this one for? So, this is actually the second game you've played this week that I have never played. Really? Death so part yeah, of Yeah, I know sorry, nothing I totally about it. Pause. So part of why I did Death Stranding is um so Shell hasn't played and she was curious about it and I gosh dang it. I feel like there's a way to do this. Okay. I'm gonna look up. Um I always have a walkthrough on Wednesdays pulled up just in case. Oh and I went right to the part where I am. Um but I wanted to show her kind of how it works, how it, how it looks, how it is. And you guys who have played know, and those of you especially who I've talked to, oh, I'm an idiot. You guys will see what is you're supposed to hear. Is this a PS Plus game this month? Um, Unravel? It might be. Somebody tell me. Such yeah, a good game. Yeah, I don't know game. what the PS Plus games are. For this yeah, month, no, actually. so I've had I'm this for a good long point. time. Um, I, yeah, I've had it for a good long time. There's a bunch, of, so you, so I don't know if you saw the poll, was like 51.7%. And 43 point something like it was super close so I wow. yeah so I went back to this um, because it was just a barely the winner but um, yeah so I've had this for a while and when I was saying well either this or something else I wasn't really nervous guys because I have so many just great chill out games like this um, and yeah so I wasn't worried at all I, since, I knew you've, I knew uh, since you've been play. streaming and you've been doing like Flamingo and Chill, what's been your favorite chill out game so far? You know, I, let me think about that. So I really loved Tetris Effect and I really want to go back and do more of it. Um, but Grease was just so fun and I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's one of those games that I'm going to go back and play again and yeah, the subject matter um, sounds like it's pretty rough for it, but did it leave the bottle in there? Wow, it left the bottle in there. I can't remember. Has it done that before, guys, where it's left the equipment in there? Um, but Greece so far, just because I think it's it was such a unique, beautiful experience. Um, and I play a lot of chill games. But it was just a really good mix of, of you know, a little bit of drama to the plot. Didn't really talk too much. You know I love me some Abzu. So there's also, yeah, there's well, also I, I thought Absu. that would be your answer, actually. I thought you'd say Abzu. I, I haven't watched all of your Abzu streams yet, but you did encourage me to listen to the whole soundtrack. <laughs> oh my gosh, so good, right? So, so amazing. good. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing, yeah. Yeah, and it just flows. I think Vlad said that it, it just flows so well. It really, really does. Um, you kind of just get to the end, at least I do, and then it's like, it's over already? <laughs> and I end up starting yeah. it back over, but... Um, yeah, so uh, I really like games that have a relaxing soundtrack, but, and I, one of my favorites is, is like Witcher 3, but then every now and then 
you get into this like battle theme where like if you're trying to go to sleep or drop off it's like really melodic <laughs> and relaxing much. until uh, about sort of 30 minutes in and then it's some it's that um Gwent soundtrack it just makes me feel like I ought to be doing something <laughs> uh, yeah it's too 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 oh I don't yeah. think that there's a thing on the top there um yeah I'm with you I have that problem with I'm trying to think oh it's um what game is it? I'll think of it in a minute. There's a game that I love that does that. Um, and then I love sci-fi kind of vibe music, but it's not really good to relax to because there's always that little bit of an ominous tone to it. I mean, if you, if you like sci-fi games, have you ever played Mass Effect? No, and I mean to. My brother-in-law was a... Well, that was just... Did you guys see that? <laughs> Come on. Is this, um, um, is this an EA game? I think it is, actually. I'm almost positive it is. Um, but yeah, so my brother-in-law is a big Mass Effect fan. In fact, funny story. I'm going to... Gosh dang it. <laughs> Not relaxing in this part, guys. I'm going to air my sister's dirty laundry for a second. Because I love her. Um, my brother-in-law played. And she got mad at him because of the romance off. She didn't actually get mad, but it was one of those, like... She felt like she needed to comment about how he had to romance people in that game. And it's what, like in, I played Mass Effect. Yeah, it's like I played this way before I met you. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. <laughs> who did you romance? Yeah. Tell me who it was. <laughs> it was I, so funny. I struggled with the um so I think some of the earlier and like absolutely correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, but I think most of the earlier Mass Effect games were Xbox exclusives, right? So you could it was only Andromeda that I think I remember I that too. Because I was a big Halo fan and you know, a lot of them kind of same vibe, same time, right? Yeah, so, so I'm, I'm trying to pass the best right. one I ever played because I, I don't have an Xbox. I, I'm a Sony girl, so. Um, I loved Andromeda, but I think I told you the story, didn't I? Maybe on your last stream about that I loved the character customization in Mass Effect of Andromeda. You did, uh, yeah. I didn't, look, I didn't look at my character from a side profile. You did, and then so you were like, oh. She, uh, <laughs> yeah. she looked beautiful from the front, but from the side, after I'd started playing the game, she looked like a chimp. She had such a big yeah. chin, it was ridiculous. I don't know if you saw when I was commenting, they all came out on PlayStation eventually. Okay, so they did. Um, uh, okay. okay. I, d I don't know if you saw um, Quick Hatch's creation on Dark Souls, but I. Why does everybody make ugly characters? Maybe I'm just vain, but I always want to make like as good-looking and awesome a character as I can in those games. But yeah, I mean, like I think I said, if I have the opportunity to jump into the skin of somebody who's like who looks more awesome than I do, why wouldn't you take that chance? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just for kicks. But yeah, so you you know the basic premise of Unravel, I'm sure. Um, uh, do you know what? I know very little about it, but it... I mean, looking at it, it looks like the game is a little bit like Limbo, you know, side-scrolling, slightly puzzly. Um, yep, yep, you're not wrong. Um, it is a little bit... I can't play Limbo because of the spiders, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was going to say, it is a little bit more, like, focused on kind of this pretty imagery and stuff. But guys, now I'm nervous because I keep jacking up this one part but uh maybe gentle nice and gentle Ooh. i am that bad person who platforms and like extra presses the x key when there's no need to yeah because there's I get a bit nervous. of a delay as well there's a bit of a delay as well there was one fight in Sekiro actually where somebody was saying that just press this button twice because if you think it hasn't worked you press it for a third time <laughs> there's a delay and then it actually compromises your next moves so. oh no um, so you got to be real careful yeah yeah somebody uh, everybody's talking about uh, romance in mass effect now um <laughs> oh yeah yeah did anybody I, else I, have I, somebody get jealous or is that just my <laughs> poor sister I didn't have anybody get jealous, but I accidentally committed. So there are like two types of relationship. Ones that are more fluid and relaxed and, you know, if you romance me, you're not tied down to me. And I accidentally romanced Jarl, who was like this weird blue-green alien man. And there was this horrifically awkward scene in a lake where it became apparent that we were both going to get naked. Oh no! That, that I love it, the polite, polite way you say that, both get naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it was so oh, awkward. Rocks. But then I realized it was one of those sort of once you've committed to this person, you can't actually... You gotta I mean, do I, it. 
I already wanted to change my chimp girl, so I went back and played it anyway. Chimp chin, and then I made a note not to romance Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Was this was this in a notebook? Made a note, or was this just? Yeah, so many note. notebooks. <laughs> so many yeah. notebooks. It's hard to remember stuff, isn't it? It's really difficult, yeah. It's really difficult. And that's oh, I guess it's, so it's quite convoluted. One bad dialogue <laughs> choice. And, any and it also, right? the dialogue doesn't always reflect what you say. Like, I always... Oh, they do that to you. Yeah, my first playthrough, I like to just pick dialogue based on what I would say. You know, and generally I, I'm not dick so I always you know, I, pick, I pick the option that says oh I understand I'll be there for you but what actually comes out after you've pressed it is okay <laughs> and it's like oh you know. no <laughs> oh man Miranda all the way Mar yeah I just saw that Miranda all the way guys I will get this I promise you know how it goes with me it take I just do the same thing over and over, and over, and over. blood force method here so does this game have a platinum trophy um, I don't know, does it? Somebody tell me. I don't think it does. Maybe it does. No, it does. I think there are... Oh, gosh. Yet again, another action game sequence right there. <laughs> You'll see. Whoa! Um, but yeah, it I, it might. Somebody somebody look and tell me. Actually, you look and tell me. Yeah, it <laughs> you does. tell me. Oh, it does. Okay. It cool. does. It does. It has a... Uh, it has no online trophies, um... No, Unravel 2, I don't think you can... Maybe it's Couch Co-op, maybe you can play online, I don't actually know. I tried playing it with Nintendo Man at one point for a little bit, but he's very much like um, Greg's Ed, and he'll say, there, you know, these graphics, there's too much going on on the screen. <laughs> the graphics are too modern. It says about 10 to 15 hours for the plot. That's not bad. It's really not bad. I don't think that's bad at all just adjusting something on my computer screen guys hey and another thing for those of you who are who might be new I'm all about feedback so if there's anything that you want me to do or missed me doing or whatever you need from me just please tell me um, I don't like just kind of playing in a vacuum I'm just looking at who's in the chat meet Sue's here yeah yeah, yeah. First time in your last stream, I think. Yes. Um, we I had a big conversation about how to pronounce the name. <laughs> it's, it's, a bit, if it's, it's like Mitsubishi. Um, or it Mitsubishi. Is. So, I asked. I don't know. Did we see any answers, guys? Those of you who are new, what, what brought you here? Gives people visual nightmares. <laughs> um, you probably... Did you see on the chat, S uh, Jonesy made an unfortunate call on some... Uh, on some visuals from someone else's stream involving no, the lasso and what I call the fourth point of contact. So. <laughs> oh no, what happened? Um, apparently someone said something about a, I just, I just don't even want to say it now, a butt lasso. <laughs> and it's become a thing <laughs> that I'm very, very sad has become a thing. Um, but yeah, on that happy note, any eye bleach would be appreciated. I think I have to not. But lasso, I'm, I, I have never heard that phrase. But lasso, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, it is a new one. Oh. <laughs> Steven says it's not my fault, Tiny. <laughs> it's not his fault. I haven't been here long enough to know whether that's true or not. <laughs> uh, okay, guys, what do you think? I probably can't walk on this because it's electrified, right? Okay, maybe I have to push this across. Yeah, see, electrified. Ooh, you die in the most horrific ways in this game. Uh, no, like the don't the Tomb Raider, isn't it? Like I know, day, yeah. She, oh. she just drop down into a hole and fade away. <laughs> and now you get to see her like give herself a frontal cortex injury on a rock. <laughs> I know, right? Horrible, spewed. absolutely horrible. <laughs> absolutely horrible. Um, maybe there is a way for me to get up there without utilizing the... Oh, I bet you there is. Hold on. Nope. Um, yeah. Horrifying. And you're just a little yarn guy, but I also do love it when games, you know, you're just a little yarn guy, but at the same token, you're horrified by, uh, your deaths in the game. <laughs> like, oh, this is, this is horrible. 
Maybe I have to figure out a way. We're so cute, though. <laughs> I know, so cute, but then the... Oh, I know what I have to do. I figured it out, I think. Raiden wins. Now, here's a question. Is it Raiden or Raiden? I think for Mortal Kombat, it's Raiden. And for MGS, it's Raiden. It's Raiden. But please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. <laughs> yeah, and I always wonder, is that just uh, how we've all decided it needs to be pronounced? Or is it actually the right way to do it? Oh, I was oh, a jerk. Quick catch says, uh, talking of yarn guys, my mum knitted quick a sack boy a few years ago. So oh, cute. So, so <laughs> cute. Or maybe I have to swing back and turn it off real quick. I like the look of this game. I might have to try it. Yeah, and the music's really, really cool. Like, you're not seeing some of the more, I guess, joyous parts. Uh, so consensus is that it's uh, Raiden in MK and Raiden, Raiden in, in Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because I think actually Rob talked about uh, Mortal Kombat having maybe not played it very much, and he said, and everybody in the comments was just, you know, that thing where they public publicly be a bit of an shame asshole. him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and then oh, what was that? I saw in the comments the other day about. Uh, how he said, I'm a massive Final Fantasy X fan. Yes, so yes. So, oh, I stopped watching this video when Rob pronounced it uh, Tidus. Oh, of that's Titus. right, instead of Titus. I remember that. I said that at work, or <laughs> when I was doing document review at one point, I said that just to see yeah, what I would mean, happen to somebody. And... I was always a, I always pronounced it Titus, but then I actually took the time to look it up, and it is actually, the translation is actually Tidus. And is then it Tidus? Like, yeah, it also appears in Dissidia and um, Kingdom Hearts. As There's only one game, I think it's Kingdom Hearts 2, maybe, where they accidentally pronounce it Tidus, and that's what caused the confusion. But the voice actor said that in the original release of the trailer, it, the voice actor at the time had pronounced it Tidus, and he intended to carry on with that pronunciation, and it was just one mistake in one game that led to the confusion, so... Interesting! Yeah, that's quite interesting. That is super interesting. Funny how the voice actors are such, like, a good resource for, um, lore about games, right? It's yeah, nice. yeah. It's, uh, I can't remember the voice actor for Tidus. I think it was something Arnold, something Ooh. or another. I can't remember now. Something um, Arnold, something yeah. or another. <laughs> something Arnold. So he has, like, a, th uh, yeah, he has a first and a middle name combo. Stephen uh, Arnold or something like that. Oops. I can't remember. But yeah, he basically said it was supposed to be Tidus based on the first trailer. Very cool. Yeah. Although I still always go with Tidus. <laughs> I don't well, know it's one I of those them. once you once you've got it and for you it's a like a really valuable well valuable. It's a really treasured memory, right? So Oh yeah. It's definitely. gonna be it's gonna be what it is. I guess I missed that bobble, but oh well. Okay, so I am following a walkthrough for this portion, kids, because it makes me nervous. How did, they, how, but how did they get the, uh, the thing over there? I guess it's my, there's that little box, right? And I'm trying to um, see how they got that box over there, how they got back up top. Once that box was placed. Thank oh, you, I guess Stephen. they tied a knot. Okay, cool. My Arnold something, he's expanded it to James Arnold Taylor, which is my James guess. Arnold it Taylor, was, nice. It was James Arnold, yeah, it was James Arnold Taylor. Thank Taylor, you. Sorry. sorry, I'm splitting screen to you guys so that I can try and not die 50 million times. Maybe. Uh, me, me too is saying goodbye, going to walk the dog, loving the stream, and I'll be back later. Oh, thanks. Um, her, the dog's name is, I'm sorry, uh, I'm not sure if you're here or she, but the uh, the dog's name is Leia. So they're going to go walk Leia. Oh, wait. I almost messed that up already. Uh, uh, SD says, uh, obviously, I think this is still on the line of Final Fantasy. Uh, I uh, pr pronounce it however the hell you want. I absolutely agree. Um, I still say Chocobo rather than Chocobo. I've always said Chocobo. Actually, I have the Chocobo Squawk as my text alert. Yes! <laughs> I love stuff like that. I tried, and I I have a I'd gotten a new phone in between. I really want to put some near automata 
noises on my... I wanted Metal Gear yeah. to be... You guys will laugh because I think I've said to you um, all that I've played Metal Gear Solid 4 first. And I love the old snake theme from the menu. So I really wanted that to be my ringtone for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I just love it. It's like a happy noise for me. I know it's not necessarily a happy sounding theme. But uh, Greg, Greg has asked, does anybody else have the Metal Gear alert? I did have the Metal Gear alert. But having played Metal Gear, every time it went off, my first thought wasn't, yeah, your text. It was, what have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's Otacon going to yell at me about now? Or Campbell or whoever, depending. So I had depending. to change it. My ringtone is uh, Crash Bandicoot, though. Uh, I've oh, got nice. a Crash Bandicoot ringtone, and I've got a uh, oh, nice. Chuck Bow text alert. Do you have That's anything so on your phone? I don't. I've is... got all boring, like default stuff and I have all these sounds that I want to put on there that are ready to go I just haven't done it yet yeah mm -hmm. there's great uh, there's a great app I think it's called Gamer Sounds or something and they have all of the classics like the oh. uh, the Doom the Doom music for your ringtone like from the first level the proper rock music you know all nice sort of stuff. yes um, hi Jackus good to see you I know I could just call you Jack but I like Jackus better Jacquet <laughs> Jack is Maracas, that's a cool name. Yeah. Uh, quick, what about like some Doom music? Gosh dang it! Alright, going back. I hate this because I have to like electrocute him every time I want to restart this area and it's just horrible. Absolutely horrible. Ugh. Yeah, a lot of yarny carnage in this particular stream, guys. <laughs> Yarnage. 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 <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> yarnage. A lot of yarnage. Um, so, I don't know if you've seen, Chell, the, um, my emotes are up. Right now we have, I meant it to say Goofy, but because I forget that Flamingo has a, a G in it, right? Or had forgotten. It looks like it's an Oofy Flamingo. Oh. So they've been using it as Oof, and I love it, guys. I love it so much. <laughs> I do. The oof flamingo. I guess Glad we can use... would I panic and, and go for cover every time I got a message? Yes, that's why I had to change it. To <laughs> cover. Because, uh, yeah, every time I got a message, I thought, crap, what have I done? Um, <laughs> it was the whoop sound. That was a really bad interpretation, but uh, it was, yeah. It, was it wasn't the brrr, brrr. Uh, No, no, I did have that one for a while. The... Uh, uh, the sort of uh, codec call. Yeah, but, that's right, um, the codec, not the alert. The one that uh, I had was the your stealth is broken sound. You know, oh the, no! Whoop. And uh, I just, every time I got a text, my my stomach, it was like that feeling when you miss a step going downstairs. Yeah. Because that was, that's, it was kind of just conditioned in me. So every time it went off, I was like, shit! <laughs> yeah, I've done something. Ah, uh, so, dang it, how yeah. did I get that? That's right. So how long have you been playing this game for? Um, I don't know, like three or four streams now, guys, right? Let's see if I can do this without getting smashed after I went through all this effort. That's the other thing is, Yarny has like one speed. Which is a little bit infuriating, like you can't really sprint with him. You get momentum when you go downhill. I don't know how many hours, somebody tell me how many hours you think. Um, I did do a flaming goof. Flaming goof, I love that. <laughs> did I call it goofy or did I just say goof? I think I did say flaming goof. Without the Y. Um, but yeah, lots of hours. Part of it's just my ineptitude. Let's see if it lets you jump in the... Nope, see, stuff like this does kind of bother me. It's like, I would end up in the helmet. I wouldn't end up next to it. I'm actually doing pretty well with bobbles on this level. So what games has everybody everybody else been playing today? There's quite a few people in the chat. What oh, yeah. have you all been playing today? Um, SD did Final Fantasy VII. Oh, quick, tell Shell where you are. He went. He got to my favorite area without me. In what, Automata. in Nia? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, before I forget as well, um, Andy, you got eighth in pub quiz tonight. Andy has pub quiz every Wednesday, so we get, we get the update. <laughs> We get the pub date on pub quiz. But yeah, he got to my favorite area, so tell Shell what it is if you're still watching. So it can't be the area that I'm thinking of, because I'm pretty sure that Quick got to that area while I was watching an earlier stream. My favorite area is the theme park. 
Yes, he um, he has far surpassed the theme park. Now I'm a little nervous. Well, I don't I'm like trying to think what that. it is now. Is it? Oh, there's so many good areas. I couldn't even pick. I know, right? Such a just beautiful game. Um, yeah. In fact, I have the piano score, and this has a very piano-heavy intro, which may help you with it. It's one of the songs I really want to learn on the piano for the for the game. Is there something else I can pull up here? Give me that helmet. Hmm, it's interesting. That's the other thing with this game is sometimes you um, have to go back to go forward. Sometimes you gotta go back to go forward. Yeah, Quick says uh, his favorite area so far is the amusement park. So what was the area that you were doing recently? That's my favorite? Watching? Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. He did the Forest Kingdom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, is that the one? Oh gosh, what's the name of the robot? The really nice one with the girly voice? Oh, Pascal. Yeah, yeah you go to Pascal's Pascal. village after that. Yeah. yeah so Let's jump and see what there is. Gosh, it's been so long since I played it, I can't remember. So, so good. Oh, amazing game. All right. What a great soundtrack, though. One of my favorite soundtracks of any game, I think, Nier. It's just so well done. And if you, the OG Nier, even if you don't get a chance to play it, I think it's worth it to listen to the soundtrack because it's just art. It is absolutely art. Did you, uh, did you watch the not so Tuesday checklist anymore? But they were talking about trophies you're embarrassed to have. My first thought was the oh, yeah, yes. comments of trophy mm -hmm. for looking at TV skirt 10 times in a row. It it's 10 times. <laughs> somebody left a message. Um, I did post the video and I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet. But somebody mentioned in Yakuza the, um, the dirty video that it's like 35 times that you have to watch this dirty video. Oh, I've never played Yakuza, but yeah, um, it's like 35. But yeah, times. I did. My first thought was the um, the near automata look up to be skirt. I can't remember what it's called. It's something like what are you doing? I yes, think it's it what is. You doing. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you have to do it 10 times. And then the other one was obviously my name is Mayo because <laughs> just, just tapping yeah. any jar of anything that's wearing a bikini t ten thousand times <laughs> is like ridiculous. <laughs> You've seen Elle's comment about how she did it for uh, work. It always makes me wonder how many accounts the folks have because I would not want that. I would not want that on my account. I just wouldn't. I, I just wouldn't. I was curious about my name is Mayo because I thought this surely can't be a game just about it. so and apparently it's like a you unlock a little story with each thing so it's like yeah i'm totally gonna play this and find out what all, what all the fuss is about what all the fuss is it's, about yeah it's nothing is i think there's even one where you're on a hairy foot like it was just bizarre you're on a hairy just foot. Just totally, yeah interesting it was just interesting just nuts Absolutely um, not. So I was telling folks on Friday, I know Quick is worried a little bit, and I thought about it too, about having too many folks on the mic, um, but I don't think that that's going to be the case. So on Friday, I would like to do Boss Fight Friday we were talking about during the Death Stranding stream I did. And, uh, uh, you mean the boss, uh, boss fight in Bloodborne? Yes. So I have two bosses left. Oh, wait, hold on just a second. Duke Nukem Forever was the first game my parents bought. Nice. Um, Shell and I both played Doom probably at two years. Oh yeah. yeah. We we have to do that at some point, don't we? We will. Like, um, it will happen. I, I don't think there's online multiplayer in the original Bethesda release that they just re released. Oh, but gotcha. I, I think it, I think it's only couch cart, but I can join you on the mic or vice versa. Yeah, we could both do it. We could do it where we each do a level and see how it goes for each other. Yeah. Um but anyway, so I want to do boss fights on Friday to include, um, I, I have two bosses left, and as I mentioned, I am selfish and want to get my own game done. But there are other folks who are close, so Ollie and SD are super, super close to having um, theirs done as well. I think i got to pull this this way. I bet you I do, or maybe the <laughs> Sorry, Vlad just says in, uh, in Death Stranding, you get a trophy for peeing outside. <laughs> you do, and I, I do have that trophy. Actually, I think somebody may have that. asked me. <laughs> yeah, I have that trophy for sure. Um, gosh, which is... I think I have to tie a knot to get this to pull. 
I need it pulling the other way. I need it pulling the other way. Come on. Come on, or maybe I need to drop it. I love this. I've got to go back to the walkthrough, folks. How embarrassing. This seems like this should be perfectly logical. But we're almost through this level, so that's a plus. Uh, back over. I guess you do it from... <laughs> How would I figure this out? That... This is... Mm, things that, it, that drive me nuts. How would I ever figure that out? Anybody? <laughs> I often think that about games, like that, you know, it's so easy now to look stuff up, isn't it? But sometimes if I look something up, I think, you know, how would I have... out for the first time? Like, yeah, you know, exactly. Like, the one well, that you probably remember guidebooks. Is... You remember yeah, guidebooks. Yeah, but for me, it's um, Psychomantis in Metal. Yes, you had who, to have had your friends tell person? you. Yeah, who was the first person, though, that figured that out? That's a good point. He was the first ever person to figure that out. I wonder um, if it was, it was leaked at some point, you know? Maybe, yeah, but I mean, I would never in a million years assume that at that, particularly, at, you know, in that generation of games, that somebody had been out of the box enough to think that you have to swap your controller ports. Like, it would just wouldn't even, it was so, like, innovative at the time. You would never make that assumption. If I was a child, I would have put that, when I played that, I would have put that game away right then. I just can't do that kind of, so there's this game called Icy that I really want to play, but certain breaking the fourth wall. Oh, Campbell tells you in the end. So that's good. Oh, I really? Guess. What, Campbell over the codec? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, they wouldn't want okay. you to just I not be able that. to progress at it. I mean, people would quit, right? And never play another Metal Gear again. If <laughs> they got a certain amount of frustrated. Um, I see. I've heard of that. That's a side scroller, isn't it? Oh, I see. No, well, it might be. I think it is, but it's got. It's a recent game, but it's got very kind of fourth wall breaking um, stiff in it. Uh, and that the way that they do it, though, I think might be a little bit too much for me. It just it freaks yeah. me out a little bit, you know. I, think I have that's no good one reason to. Um... But developed by Shanghai and I can't remember what else they did but they did something that I played and I really loved I can't remember. Um, Shanghai yeah it was uh, on yeah, sale uh, a while Shanghai ago Shanghai Fans Blade Network I think I think that's um, I can't remember what I played that they'd done but it was really good Shanghai I'll have to look them up because it just I love the art style from what I've seen of it I think I would it's like to. It's a bit anime, isn't it? It's a bit, uh... Just a little bit, yeah. Ooh, I guess Yarny's gonna. Or maybe that's where the thing is hidden. Cool, guys, we did another level. Whoop whoop! Some kapows in the chat. No gamer thought outside the box in 1998. I know. Stevie, Stevie uh, SD says that he died like 10 or 12 times. What, in which game? Oh, with Psychomantis. Psychomantis, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that kind of fourth wall break, I think when I was a kid, would have really freaked me out. But nowadays, I don't know, I might handle it okay. Oh, do you see this? You get little fancy stuff here. Oh, of... do you know the thing that would have freaked me out if I'd ever played it, but I knew what the game was, so I never played it, obviously, because, like, you know how much I hate horror games. Yeah. Um, Back in the day when you could actually access it, which I don't think you can anymore, um, PT, for me it would have been the bit where it, it looks, they designed a certain section of the game so that it, you get the feeling that somebody's going to turn up at your house, like it, and Whoa. there's a bit of a, and, and then there's a hacking thing, um, Whoa. where the screen, the screen changes, and I can't remember what the words are, but it's, it basically just makes you feel like the game is in your room like this horrific situation is in your room or it's going to be there it was just so oh I, I mean pt at its core is a horrifically psychological game anyway yeah but but the way oh, that's they right sort of, yeah yeah i so wait a second i missed this did you play pt I didn't play PT. No. Oh, that's no. right. You hate well, horror games, so why would you? People, have? I watched yeah. people play PT because I'm I the same way. I'll watch myself. it. It's weird. I can watch it, but playing it, no, never. Couldn't, couldn't yeah. do it. Yeah. The little baby in the sink is is horrific enough. But the idea, I mean, to be honest, it's the anticipation. Like the game is so smart. But even just thinking about doing 
one rotation of a haunted house is bad oh, enough for doing, for have doing to do it numerous endlessly. rotations with escalating levels of fear. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> like, totally out. <laughs> there was a guy, there's a guy who does data mining who, like, um, gosh, I wonder how to do this, guys. Uh, there's a guy who does data mining who, uh, like, figured out a bunch of stuff about it, like, that you actually are Norman Reedus. Um, was one of the things, and that Lisa's the ghost is actually behind you the whole time was another. And I yeah, that was and just so cool. Oh, God. I think there are also a couple of rotations where where you would normally exit the rotation and come back around. So you exit the rotation by going down into the basement, and then it re it kind of respawns you at the start of the corridor. But there are a couple of rotations where you reach that basement door and you try to open it, and it's it's locked. So then there's this incredibly clever um, situation that they put you in because the only way to figure out how to unlock that door is to turn around. And oh. that, that fear of doing that 180 turn, like if I turn around right now, if I were, were going to scare somebody, I'd make them go to a door that's always been open, lock it, and then and they make turn them around, figure it out. Oh. And then something will be there. And... It's just so, there are so many clever ways of, of sort of instilling that sense of fear that I wish I could play PT, or, I mean, I can't play it anymore, but, yeah. Yeah, or see it. It's just very smart, yeah, and the sounds as well, the sound is very clever, and the lighting, and and there's, oh my god, there's a bit with the peephole. Have you, have you ever played this game? No, I, this? I haven't, and I, it's the same thing because of just what it, has become culturally i would love yeah. to play it but again i i'm with you i don't think that i could do the uh gosh dang it i'm gonna kill yarny five million times tonight guys um i don't yeah, i mean the only way to access pt now is to and i'm seeing this in the comments actually is to buy buy somebody buy a basically buy a playstation with it already downloaded onto it somebody's asking me if i want to buy <laughs> ed's ps4 no absolutely not oh, yeah, that's I right. ed, ed's got it yeah ed's got it on his uh, oh apparently this is this bit where uh, you look through a peephole into the bathroom the bathroom where the horrible mutant baby is mutant and, um, ba it's not a mutant baby you know what's wrong with it, it <laughs> well yeah, it is a mutant and, baby isn't it but when you start looking through the peephole, you can hear this breathing behind you. So while you're looking through the peephole, you get this, all of your senses are telling you that somebody has stood directly behind you. So most people sort of back out there because they want to know if somebody's behind them and there's nothing there. But it's because you have to look through the peephole for long enough, like you have to sit through the cycle and the sounds and the dialogue. And only when it's finished, you back away and somebody's written a marker above the peephole. Something about, like, don't you wish you'd look behind you. I can't remember what it is they've written, but somebody was there all along. And it's oh. just, oh, oh, it's just horrible. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's just horrible. Um, I'm watching a little um, walkthrough because this particular area, there's like five different ways. Oh, I don't, I don't care about the baubles. Guys, I just want to get through the game. Don't, don't. Don't at me for not getting collectibles. <laughs> so are there so trophies for collectibles in this then? That come uh, towards? Yes, actually, there are trophies for collectibles if you get all of them. Okay, you do what I just did with the rock, but you don't let go. Then you get the next section. The one after, I promise there's a reason for me yelling all this stuff. Now here's what I don't get. How the heck do I, oh, I guess I just didn't swing hard enough. You guys will see what I mean, I didn't swing hard enough. Okay. I should have used my momentums instead of uh, on this next section instead of just yeah I mean here's the thing and you probably have this too I'm playing so many different games during the week that it like takes me I don't know there's a little tiny warm-up period it's not very long but it's still there I have a really long warm-up period because it's kind of more my nature to just take one game and then not stop playing it until I finished it. Yeah. But obviously, like with the channel and stuff, I feel like that's going to lead to a lot of repetition. So it's a bit more pressure to play different things. And I'm still only really cycling between three or four games. Couple, I don't know yeah. if you found this with streaming. There's more of a kind of pressure to play more of a variety. But yeah. Um, 
I, I'm terrible at switching games, and actually when I'm really getting into a boss fight on Sekiro, I have to just bypass playing other games, because I need the muscle memory mm -hmm. um, in order yeah, to do it. Yeah, same with Bloodborne. And guys, yeah, sorry yeah, for the little bit actually, of barking you, in the background. You do switch out quite a lot, actually. Bloodborne is equally punishing. For switching in particular. Oh, yeah, uh, Patton. Yeah, I don't know if Patton is still in the chat, but... Um, Oh no, I may have I may have done it. So uh, yeah, uh, Pey Peyton's still in the chat. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't, I always call you Patton because I did it wrong at the oh, at the outset. I said your name wrong at the outset for so long. It's that classic thing. But um, Drakengard, legitimately a different game, like legitimately or, or a difficult game. And uh, uh, Drakengard's the precursor, isn't it? Like the backstory. It's story the very very the first. Theater. Yeah, it's the well, yes, and it's the very very first of that series. And it's legitimately a difficult game. So it's one of those, like, I've, since I've played that, I feel a little less like I, uh, I don't know, I kind of want to show it to people because it's like I always say I'm an easy mode gamer and then I have to remind myself that, no, I played Drakengard and that was a difficult game. Like, no, I never played Drakengard. I actually only kind of jumped into the Nia series at Automata. Yeah, I, it's I mean, worth I know it, I of Nia. And I know that they're kind of set on the same world, but apart from that, like in terms of the rich backstory, um, Nier Automata, I mean, I guess it's a, a good thing, really, but the game kind of stands alone, uh, yeah. which I don't think has been the case with previous games. There's been sort of quite a, a rich backstory that you needed to know to really get the most A little bit, yeah, with Drakengard, because it... And here's the thing, like, he does the classic multiverse kind of thing, but it's also... Um, it's a multiverse, but at the same token, you kind of, like, there are, um, sorry, I'm trying to focus for a second, guys. There are definitely bits and pieces that you wouldn't get. Ooh, way almost too close, Yarny. Uh, is that, is Drakengard also Yoko Taro? Or... They, it is. They're all with, so here, here's another thing. Drakengard so I'm not too? surprised that, sorry, that Jackus Maracas says I played Drakengard in the day, but I didn't understand it, which is what triggered my question, because I thought if it's a Yoko Tari game, that's part of the course, right? Nobody understands it. Yes, okay, so you hacked and slashed your way through it. And I actually plan to get a capture card in large part to play Drakengard for everybody. So here's the thing. Oh, wow, that'd be amazing. It's, yeah, yeah, just to see it, because, you know, ain't nobody got time for all the games that are out there. <laughs> What so, console are they on? Well, it's on PlayStation 2, but I'm lucky, and I think we talked about this too, I have a backwards compatible PlayStation 3, so I, um, I'm i lucky enough to be able to actually, uh, you know, play it. And, yeah. uh, yeah, so I, um, oh, they make that not available to you. I will get this, guys, eventually. But Drakengard is meant to be, like, a brutal punishing game. And I don't think it's ruining much to say that you play as this guy who's just this awful, psychopathic, will kill everything kind of person. And there's reasons for it, right? Like he has not had a good or easy life. But so you play as Ted Bundy. Ah, it's not Ted Bundy because you are. I mean, it is during war, but he like takes so much pleasure in just killing everything. And um, you know, like Yoko Taro does, there are a bunch of themes in there that are very controversial. Um, and yeah, I never felt like that with me or Thomas Rowe. I always felt like the androids and their violence was really generated with an aim to kind of protect yeah. the existing human race and, and sort of only necessary kind of... That's what their existence violence. was for, was to protect the human yeah. race, right? So, so it sounds like Drakengard was maybe a bit more ruthless. Uh, way more ruthless, if you ask me. And it... Here's the other thing that Yoko Taro kind of said, he's like, why would these people have happy endings? Like, they're not good people. <laughs> and I kind of, I like that, you know, it's, it's genuine, it feels genuine, like, you're right, why, why when I'm playing as this just murderous madman, would I have a happy ending to my story? I mean, so. to some extent, I feel like that about Assassin's Creed games, because at, at the core of it, you, you're controlling one person has very strong almost political opinions about what is right for the world and how free will is better but then on the other hand when you actually read the dialogue of the Templars like give people too much control and they do bad things with it you kind of that if you really digest all of the script you think well 
the Templars yeah. have a point. Yeah. I kind of get that. But and <laughs> then you sort of reduce your protagonist to somebody who is actually somebody who feels just as strongly about not that much of a dissimilar issue to the Templars and you've got two people and it's like, well, you're both fighting violently for this cause and actually I agree with both. So you get this kind of, am I a good guy or am I a bad guy? Am I the baddie? (laughs) Am I a bad guy who's going freelance? Yeah. And just, you know, fighting for an equally valid point. So I, I didn't have that so much until I played... I don't particularly enjoy the game, actually, but because uh, I hated the protagonist. <laughs> but ah. Assassin's Creed 3, um, when you play as Connor, who's like the worst protagonist ever developed by any company. Um, but <laughs> Connor, I think thought, I skipped 3. Yeah, I skipped oh, 3. Oh, Connor was just awful. He was just selfish and monotone and horrific. Mm. But his father, Haytham, um, was a Templar. And you kind of meet him and you have quite a lot of dialogue with him not only is he very likable and funny and you get to control him for the first part of the game uh, he's just he's very smart in the way and very articulate in the way he kind of pitches the Templars cause it was the first time out of all the games where I heard some backstory from the opposing side and thought maybe I'm this makes not sense. the good guy here <laughs> or yeah. maybe it's gray, it's right? Or maybe there is no good guy, which I think is what yeah. happens a lot in Yoko Taro games and, you know, of course, Kojima games. There's no, you know, I'm a big ocelot as a hero kind of gal. I know he's like, not everybody likes him and people find him over the top and stuff, but he's my boy. Um, <laughs> he's your boy, like my A2. Boy. <laughs> yeah, <your> exactly. <laughs> A2's my girl. A2's your girl. She I'm is. Not your boy. But yeah, it's it's complicated, right? Oh, no, do I have to restart this checkpoint because of this? Oh, I'm going to be so angry. I mean, I have a serious question about MGS. Yes. Three, after watching Access's playthrough of that game. And there was something that Rob said, like, I wonder if they realize who the boss's kid is you know that scene in the with the fight in the flowers do you know who the boss's kid is well i think i do but i don't know and i don't want to ask because i don't want to spoil it for anybody so guys can i ask this question because i have an idea spoiler well it's such an old game but hashtag spoilers yeah (laughs) for metal gear solid 3 i think i know who it is but I don't want to say it in case somebody else hasn't figured it out. Same with Sekiro and the Demon of Hatred. I think I figured out who that is as well. But I don't want to. I don't want to say, say it for anybody else. Well, Metal Gear Solid is an old game, but it is so good that I, I definitely see you not wanting to ruin it for folks. But yeah, I think I think I think I've issued my hashtag spoiler alert. So who do you think it is? Because I really want to know if you if you've gotten it too. What what you 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 the kid. figured it out? Have you? Who's the boss's kid? Oh yeah, of course I know. Okay, well I I think I think it's Revolver Ocelot. It is Ocelot. And yeah! do, you know, do you know who the <laughs> do you know who the father is? Is it the sorrow? It's the sorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two for two. <laughs> but doesn't that just make it so much better though? I think it makes oh, yeah. the whole yeah. thing so much, and it it just makes Ocelot such a tragic figure when you think about it and then there are theories that he knew that the boss was his mom because they're both these high level operatives how could they not know yeah. you know like it makes it just oh to me it makes the story I mean, so do you know what better. it was the one because i have a massive love of mjs it was the one thing that i never looked up like for confirmation i just felt in my heart that's when you read the scripts there are very subtle clues as to who it is and I thought yeah and and, you know there are little things as well like little trivial things like their hair colour and their face shape and just little clues they give you that makes it even more awful too when she slaps him I don't know if you remember yeah yes I do remember it's like he's being a bad child um, which you know makes it better and worse but and also of course the relationship with uh, his relationship with Snake is like the brother he never got to have you know the family he never got to have so the question I want to know is if the new one's still in the chat, yes he is um, 
did you figure out who, and I still don't know for sure if this is true, but did you figure out who the demon of hatred really is? Because if you talk to the woman uh, slightly further away on the periphery after you've defeated the demon of hatred. Yeah, he's got it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that one's not so bad to figure out because the sculptor disappears. Like, he disappears. Uh, after, and then after you do it, you he's fight just gone. The demon. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, um. Got it. I'm looking this up too, guys, because. Oh, the light. Duh. It duh. Okay, let's see if I can do this properly this time. Uh, Greg says, yes, I, I figured out who it was. It was kind of obvious. Do you know what, though? I'm <laughs> it's kind of surprised. obvious. Thanks, Greg. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm eternally surprised by how few people these days actually go through all of the dialogue in a game. Yeah, uh, actually, I agree and, with you on that. So actually, I think for sort of 60, 70% of people who are just keen to progress the game and be able to say that they've defeated Sekiro, they're not necessarily reading all of the dialogue. Um, like... I mean, to be honest, Sekiro is one of the only games where I've been totally invested in the characters, so I did take the time to read it, but you'd be amazed, I think, how few people actually do. And, and you know, for those people, I think, you know, they may not have figured it out because they haven't had all the information that we've had, but why you would skip the dialogue in Sekiro, I don't know, but... <laughs> Maybe, maybe you're busy. Maybe you get hungry I mean, I and you just... I pretty much all of the dialogue in Assassin's Creed because it never changes. It's like all the Templars are trying to kill people. I don't agree with it. Blah, blah, blah. I don't need to know it. I know where, where it goes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, darn it. Sorry. Good old, un good old unravel. Daddy sure. Lawman says there are so many games where you can easily miss out on the lore and Bioshock is like that. Have you ever played Bioshock, Tony? Yes, I played it a long, long time ago, um, and it's true. You can miss so, so much, um, and not even on purpose, just by virtue of um, the way that it kind of develops or the way that the, the game develops. You get so, 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 so focused. <laughs> Didn't Rob talk about this recently? Oh, what, the Demon of Hatred? Yeah, he did. That's how I knew. He talked about the Demon of Hatred in the, the sculptor. Um, Gosh dang it, I'm gonna have to pull this. Oh, back. it was in the video about bosses you don't want to kill. Yeah, because you find out who yeah. they are or whatever. I mean, I had no trouble trying to kill him. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, come on, we know why. Didn't me at all. <laughs> Although tonight, why. actually, I, I did come up against the. Um, do you remember on the stream, the um, real corrupted, the true corrupted monk? Oh, yeah, the Sekiro. one where you were like, is. That's the real one. I remember this. <laughs> yeah, and you know, you know, we were talking about save scumming and how I'd already done the purification ending, and Bloodborne works a little bit, you know, the same. Very much like this, um, yeah. You know, I want to do the Shura ending authentically, but you know, I'm really not that fussed about going through two separate playthroughs for the return ending and. Uh, the Immortal Severance ending. So I had planned to kind of just bunch those into one through saving ah. but <laughs> I've been absolutely punished because I didn't collect enough lapis lazuli in my first playthrough so oh, I, no. still have to, I still have to get seven of them and you, you can only get six per playthrough and you can only get them in the good ending so actually I have to play Such it four a, so times you're gonna have to do it oh no oh my gosh well I guess they yeah. they did that for a reason <laughs> uh, yeah, to, to, um, but I am I am on my way to the return ending. But I, uh, yeah, I'm at the uh, corrupted monk again. Yeah, yet again. Yet again. Yet again. Yeah, yeah. I think I need to intersperse it with games, games like um, that aren't like Unravel. Serious. Games like Unravel. Seriously, why not? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love these kinds of games. I've really enjoyed. Um, Rapture as well, and oh, everyone's gone to the Finch. Rapture. Yeah, yeah. Finch. I, I play both of those based on uh, Rob. Actually, talked so fondly about them that I thought I'll give yes. them a go. Yes. So I've really wanted to play um, Edith, or uh, I really had wanted to play Edith, Edith Finch, and when I got to it, um, I thought about it for Flamingo and Chill, but I just don't know if it's the subject matter is so dark and it but it's not presented in a dark way is the other difficult thing right 
Um, I think the most irritating thing about Rapture is that there is genuinely, uh, well, there is a sprint button, but it makes negligible difference. And I think if you want to keep people engaged, ah. Rapture, it actually, it actually just takes quite a long time to go from A to B. And that can be um, a pain. Yeah, yeah, it, it's just, it's slow, even if you're sprinting. But, I mean, the music's nice, the scenery's nice, and but I was a bit disappointed with, like, the outcome of the story. It was a bit... Ah, uh, <laughs> I've heard that, actually, though. about that game. Yeah, I've heard that about yeah. that game. I love a good sci-fi story, and I've heard that it kind of comes out of nowhere, and you're like, um, where did... How did we get to this? Yeah, I mean, I think the way the story develops is so interesting, and that's possibly why the actual big reveal it's just a bit like basic sci-fi it's like really is that it but the actual progression of the story and like learning about people's lives and you go into people's homes and you hear the dialogue and like and what's been going on is incredibly engaging ah. and i think it's because that was so engaging i expected more from like the cause of it like what has happened here that's the whole kind of what you're working on to is what's actually happened here that has put these people in this position and the dialogue was so rich up to the ending that I just got to the ending and I mean there was a little I mean if you really think about it there is a little thing that is quite hmm, I wonder if that's happened and that's quite interesting but apart from that the big reveal is a little bit really is Lovely. that it yeah <laughs> Oh, Lady Quick Hatch has gone to bed. Good night, Lady Quick Hatch. You liked the night story. Night which night. which story did you like, uh, Michael Rich? Which is another new game. Hello, welcome. Hey, <laughs> I think I think Michael actually posted that roughly around the time that I was talking about Rapture. So, but such um, a good story. I, so don't don't worry about it. <laughs> oh yeah, the story is incredible. It was only the climax of it that um, bothered you. That, is bother just, a right way a of putting it though? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if does bothering you you think is that the right way to say that? Um I think I would have played the game once, but I was so close to completing it fully that I felt I should play it again. But it is a very, very slow game and and I, the thought of doing it for a second time just to get a couple of final trophies, I was like do I have to? Um, but if you're playing it once, then you tick all those boxes. It's, uh, um, it's a beautiful game. It really is. And it's very unique. Ollie has said it's one of his favorites. And like one of those games that you, you know, if you want to understand Ollie, I think we did that list. Somebody, maybe it was Jarv on the fans account had posted that list of like games mm. if you want to understand people that you should play. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's definitely a relaxing game. And I think, I think out of those kinds of indie games, if I had to pick between Edith Finch and Rapture, I'd probably pick Edith Finch, mainly because it is interspersed with like bizarre scenes, like you transition into the yes. eyes of other people. Um, but it's it's a little less frustrating in terms of the pace. But that being said, I did play Rapture I think three times in the end, and there are a couple of scenes where it's amazing like there's a scene where you walk through this forest and all the all of the light is gone and there's like stars overhead and it's so like ethereal and beautiful and it's a scene like i've never seen a scene like that in any other game it they create an atmosphere that's really unique hmm. but, um, how's the soundtrack i've heard good lovely. things and i've never listened to it it's jessica something or other who does it Oh gosh, now you're asking. But yeah, the soundtrack to Rapture is incredible. And also the soundtrack to Edith Finch. I do like it. I'm actually. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> Poor Yarny. Um, I'm from the Pacific Northwest. And it felt. Oh, I feel electrocuted. <laughs> I know, it's so sad. I don't know if the game takes place there. Where does it take place? Where does, um, which one? Sorry. Edith Finch, sorry. And uh, actually, I don't know where um, Rapture takes place, but... Rapture oh, I takes just place like... in, like, I think it's a Yorkshire town. It's Yar... I always get it mixed up with Bloodborne, because I think it sounds like Yarnum. Yarnum. <laughs> yeah. It uh, takes place in Yarnum. What is it called, guys? In the chat, what is it called? It's like... It's something similar. I think it's a... I think it is a British country town. 
I just um, want everyone to know that I am pressing the, uh, hold on, let me go, let me go check on some dogs. I am pressing the X, or the cross. Shell, if you wouldn't mind taking over for a couple minutes, I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, okay. What am I taking over? Just chit-chat. I'm gonna ask you Chit-chat while I calm down. I'll tell you why the X tramped in just a minute. Uh, SD says that's an amazing scene. Is that, is that the one? I think you posted that about the time I was talking about the stars and walking down the path. It's after you come out of the church. Is that the one you were talking about? Come out of the church, you've got about three minutes of walking through this darkness with stars and beautiful lights and stuff, and then it transitions into daylight. It's um, just a lovely scene. Yorton or Yauton, I think it's Yorton probably. Um, Yes, that's it. Thank you. Uh, Vlad says, anyone played The Vanishing of Ethan Carter? I haven't. What kind of game is that? What's your opinion on... Hey, Naomi. What's your opinion on Dear Esther? Um... I don't know if you're asking the chat in general. Dear Esther is one that is in my library and I haven't played it yet. Now, is that the one about the lady who has Alzheimer's and it kind of progresses in that kind of... Um, Ether 1 might be... No, actually, Ether 1 I don't think is the one you're talking about. Um, Dear Esther does Is that the one with the lady that is like has memory loss? And you're like, it's, it's basically a depiction of Alzheimer's, or is that the unfinished swan? Um, no, actually, I don't think it's that. I do think it's either one that you're thinking of. There's a, well, no, you play as a character who, um, is trying to recover him out. Yeah, no, that's either one. 100% positive that's either one. Um, okay. Yeah, 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 which, um, if you look back, I put that as one of the games, you, you know, if you want to understand Tiny Flamingo, you should play either one. Highly recommend. It's a little bit obtuse in points, but there's, there's. A, I think actually, maybe they didn't do it on purpose. But sorry, I'm focusing. There's a plot reason that makes that seem okay. Um, and yeah, I have Dear Esther in my library as well, and thought about playing it for this. But you, go, you guys know I love to spoil things for myself. Um, and I don't know. It's a lit. The subject matter. Gosh dang it pressing the X. Um, the subject matter is a little dark on Dear Esther, but it just looks so, so beautiful. You're like walking through these caves and these moors and stuff. So, uh, without giving any spoilers, what is kind of like the general... It is also, you don't, you, you're walking through this landscape, but you don't know why, and you pick up these, okay. it's kind of similar to Ether when you pick up memories and letters and, and such, and such, uh, you kind of put this picture together of who you are and why you're there. And the letters are all between Esther and... Guys, I swear I'm pressing X. Um, they're all letters between Esther and... I can't remember the other character's name. Uh, but you've got to put who's, together... Who's the, um, who's the death on the Esther? I don't know, actually. Um, that's, a good, that's a good question. Someone Google that, will you? but not spoiling Dark Souls. Another game that I highly recommend, someone in the chat put Observation down. Darker, right? But, um, and darker literally and figuratively, but also fantastic game. Um, it doesn't have a platinum, I don't think, but I mean to go back and get all of the trophies. Finally, whoo! I mean to go back and get uh, all of the trophies for it. Dear Esther is developed by the Chinese room, which I think, if I remember correctly, <gasps> yes. is also the same developer of Everyone's Gone to the Rapture. It I is. Think. I'm almost positive, too. Rapture, well, I um, love them. They do several things, though, that are real good that I, I can't think of off the top of my head. Oh, whoo! I feel like I shouldn't be going through this. I feel like going through this is death. Oh, apparently it's not. Okay. <laughs> so is there, um, is there like an o overriding plot to this, to the game? Like, are you trying to get somewhere particular? Um, so you get these little baubles and it puts together a, uh, like, set of pictures. And the set of pictures tell the story about what's happening with you okay. and why Yarn exists. Yeah, so, um, so yes, there is a story. Uh, I know what it is. I actually played this on Xbox originally. 
And I know so what the story cute. is. <laughs> I know. Um, were you on the stream when I said that I want, I would love Lady Quick Hatch to uh, make me a Yarny? But uh, uh, Quick said, know, Quick know. said I'm not allowed to ask because uh, <laughs> because she has other projects. <laughs> so, uh, so, and you're lucky you that she went to bed, Quick, because. Um. <laughs> oh yes, yes. <laughs> you might get a. I mean, to be honest, I'd love one of these little guys for my gaming collectibles shop. I, I might know. do it how to knit just so I can do it. <laughs> Did I mention this to you? I no, no, no. I was inspired by you. I kind of want to do what you're doing, where when you finish a game, you get something to commemorate it. Um, oh I, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the games, of course, Bloodborne. Right. Really want to do it for Bloodborne. But yeah. uh, even these little games, you know, I, maybe I'll make myself a Yarny to commemorate this. She did ask what she would like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did I miss it? A Yarny. And I will have to send her a note now that I know, I know what she is. I know what she is. But she yeah. She has a, re a really nice way to kind of collect memorabilia for games. Uh, just like, and it's also, it's the thing that I'm doing at the moment is, if I've played and loved a game, I'll buy even if I finished it. So there's no real value to it in terms of like information. But I'll buy. It's not really an art book, but it's the, the official game guide. Oh, the guides, yeah. So, oh, they're so beautiful now. They're like 600 pages, and they're hardback, and they've got beautiful maps and artwork and tips uh, and like stats on every enemy. And I said this on a couple of my videos for Sekiro, just for people who know that I have the game guide. That in my first playthrough, I, I chose not to use it for that purpose. So oh. I will only, I will only use it if I'm lost. Like if I need to figure out where to go, where goes where, because there's no real map in game. Oh no! Um, Sorry, but I'm not talking to you. Like... I'm talking. I'm talking to my game. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> but uh, but yes, yeah, it's, it's so nice. The game guides now, and I you know I've got one for. Um, one of the Assassin's Creed games that I've already finished. It's not really to finish it, it's just because the artwork's so beautiful and the hardbacks are just lovely. Um, and it's, there's so much good stuff in there. And I just, yeah, I love them. So I've been buying those for each game that I've loved, I've played and I've loved and I've completed. I, I'm buying the sort of hardback game guide with all the artwork. All the art in it. There's like different chapters as well, so like with Sekiro, I'm not using it for the walkthrough, but I am reading about the characters, like it doesn't affect your gameplay, but learning more about, you know, the Divine Child and um, Ishin and people like that, like without giving myself an advantage, just reading about where they came from and why they are who they are, it's, uh, it's amazing. So I've got two so far, the next one is Rise of Zero Dawn. <laughs> yeah, I really mean to um, future press does the um, the ones for kind of the uh, sorry I'm a little bit from focused. soft yes thank you from soft yeah. words yeah, they did words. my I work with one. words yeah <laughs> they, they did my Sekiro one and I can definitely recommend the, if it's anything like the Sekiro one definitely get the Blood Bowl one because it will be about four or five hundred maybe six hundred pages of awesome it'll be hardback and it's like the pages, it sounds silly, I know, but even the pages are nice. Like they're they really feel good. Glossy, and you just feel like you bought something that reflects the effort you put into the game, which ah. is nice. You know, yeah, nice. I'm sure. I feel like you actually earned... Oh, hopefully it doesn't electrocute me there. Ooh, that was close. Ooh. I feel like you actually earned, earned it too because you took the time to play it. Yeah, yeah, it's just something nice to kind of keep. And yeah, I've got a little, I've got a few little, um, like little characters. Uh, what are they called? Funko Pops? The, uh, oh, yeah! Who was it that just said? SD said, wouldn't it be nice if they gave you like a little, you could buy like a little mini platinum for the games yeah. you've platted? I think that's such a cute well, idea. I don't know if you guys in the chat saw the EGX. Uh, stream with the day that Dave got his first plat and they actually gave him a physical platinum trophy. Well, I mean, I don't think it was actually made out of platinum, but it was a really, really close replica. And I yeah, thought, did they? I really want one of those. <laughs> Ooh, I've got to figure out how to do this part. 
Um, they made him give it back, though, I thought. Which Did is just kind of, yes, which is just kind of uh, like, oh, come on. Is that, I was on the AGX on the, I was on the AGX on the Thursday, and I think the plot stream was later in the week, so I only got really, I, I got to see the DPX on the stuff, but I didn't actually get to see Dave and his first Oh, plot. no! I can't believe they made him give it back. That'd I'm be pretty sure they made did. him give it back, yeah. I'm pretty sure they did. Uh, Jackus Maracus, brilliant name again, says, <laughs> right team, I'm off to bed. Got work in the morning, see ya. Ooh, uh, have, a, have a good sleep, dear. That's what this <laughs> yeah. stream is for. I'm one of the only people who doesn't do ASMR who wants to put you to sleep. So <laughs> Actually, I, I'm probably going to head off at half 11 because I'm also at work tomorrow. Sounds good. What time? When is it? Half eleven. Oh, in about uh, another thirty 15, minutes. That, Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Okay, cool. Um, I was looking at my stream time, of course, and not actually what time it is. All right. Hopefully, we'll be through this level. I'm trying not to do that thing where it's like just one more, the way that uh, the recent GIF that Ollie posted says. Just looking up real quick how to do this section. No shame in it. Uh, SD says, yeah, Dave did have to give that back. Where did you guys hear that? I haven't heard that. I think That's... he said it. I think he said he had to give it Aww. back. Oh, Yeah. Is Isn't it? It seems uh, like something that you should be able to kind of, like, hang on to. Yeah. Although, you know, he does He does have the, the world's best job, so... I know, right? How can you complain? <laughs> Don't complain. How can you complain? Uh, Vlad says, there is a contest for people on PSN to win one of those platform statues. I saw that, but yeah. It's only in the U.S., Oh, what? is it a... Oh, I'm sorry. But oh, that's good to you, though. You should totally go for that. <laughs> it is, although I will say this. I think that overall, you guys get, or the Europe folks, get a lot cooler stuff a lot of the time from uh, from PlayStation, generally. Yeah, I don't know, really. I never really... Um, I never really look at, at sort of competitions and things. The only one that... Um, stayed in my mind was the in dreams one uh, the 50 tickets to go to the uh, dreams thing that playstation access did oh, that's i was right. way that. way too late to get one of those <laughs> but i couldn't have gone anyway a week night yeah it was a, i think it was a wednesday wednesday no a thursday because they normally stream on a thursday yeah, and i think it was in london as well which was about an hour away on the train three so we a little far, yeah. Mm. Not as far as it is for you. <laughs> for me? I know, right? <laughs> it's a hot minute away for me. Yeah. <laughs> Just a hot minute. Okay, let's see if we can do this now. Yeah, you, I mean, you see this game. It's a puzzle game at its core. Um, but with a really super cute Yarny, which, quick, you better watch it. I am going to ask your lovely wife to make me... In fact, I, did, I do think I said a Yarny. If anyone wants, oh, I've seen um, Jonesy just said, if you want to challenge in Bloodborne, play the whole thing without a HUD. Yeah, I'm with you. Super hard, I'm sure. Does that, does that make a massive difference? Well, you can't see what's going on with your health or anything else. Oh. So, oh, I missed oh, okay. it. Michael, Michael Rich left too. Sorry, buddy. Sorry to everyone who I miss when you leave. I'm so focused on not killing Yarny for the 50th time. Oh, I think I just have to knot this. But yeah, it's... Uh, I can't imagine that would be very difficult because I think sometimes it gives you motivation, doesn't it, when you're, you know your health is low and you know that it their does. health is low. Well, I don't know if you you've heard of... what Miyazaki said about um, health in Bloodborne, but he says it's not actually health, it's willpower. It's your <laughs> will, which I, I think is so cool because it's like your will to continue, you know? Yeah. So, which... I Although, I think it would be an inverse correlation, right? The lower your health gets, the harder you try. I agree with you. At least I know that's, um, that's kind of been my experience. <laughs> I definitely know I had that tonight with Great Shinobi Owl, because I'm suffering a bit in New Game Plus, because oh, my posture yeah. goes up and so the fast. Health, the health is greater on the, uh, on the enemies, oh, right? Oh, yeah, it's just, it's just so slow, and then... And I've never really had it, but it is a very much a sword-on-sword -sword fight, so you have to take a certain degree of posture damage. And it got to the point where I I really... And I didn't really even struggle with this fight in the first place. Our father 
uh, Shinobi Owl, sorry, was one of my favourite bites because it just took a couple a couple of goes and it wasn't that punishing. And I thought, this is brilliant. But this time, having that extra posture damage, given that it's a fairly sort of sword-on-sword -sword fight, really made a massive difference. I had to keep backing off and then kind of reducing the posture. Um, yeah, I really struggled with that one tonight. And I didn't before, but it, I think that's... I think that's typical of all... I mean, you were the one that <laughs> raised my attention to it, actually, Tiny, because she said, from soft, new game plus, good luck, or something oh, like that. Oh, yeah, I remember. because they, they do, they make it more difficult. I had no idea that they had a reputation for amplifying the difficulty so much, and I haven't actually encountered that problem very much until I started getting towards endgame, where it's a lot more sword-on-sword -sword combat, and items mean a lot less, but Shinobi Owl... Yeah, I, uh, I, it was the fight I found the easiest first time round. Not out of the mini bosses, but out of the bosses. And I really struggled like, tonight to do it. It was down to the wire, but that thing we were saying about like health being motivation, when my health, I could have taken maybe one hit, and he could have taken about three. And it's that, you know, if you can't see that, you don't have that drive that, like, come on. Come on, You're yeah, not that yeah, yeah. Far away, but one you hit do from this. him, and yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Whoop. I guess I. Uh... Oh, this is not good. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> cockroaches. Yeah, it's funny. Um, Nathan Drake, right? In the Uncharted series, it's the same kind of thing. You're not. It's not health. It's willpower. Or it's luck. Oh, yeah. It's actually luck, I think. Is that Stephen's comment? In in the Uncharted series, every time Nathan Drake gets <laughs> air quotes yeah. shot, it actually is how many near misses he gets before that one yeah, shot that hits and kills him. Yeah. Um, actually, Stephen, obviously, like, based on what you've told me about Sekiro, I'm assuming that you're in, an incredibly talented gamer. Have you completed it? Have you completed Uncharted on Brutal? Because it, I have three Uncharted games that I want to finish on Brutal. And I I did the crushing playthroughs for the plat, but um, Brutal is way too much for me. And I think we, we were talking about that on your last stream, weren't we? Saying, like, it's all right if you don't know what's coming up. But if you know what's coming up and you're struggling in the first few chapters, you, know, you, you just feel like you're never going to be able to do it. Yeah. Um, that makes sense. I keep meaning to start. Um, I haven't played an Uncharted, actually, and I keep meaning to start. Um, oh, but, 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 but. You've never played I've never an Uncharted never played an Uncharted. Game. No, I've never played The Last of Us. Oh, I've never played God. an Uncharted. I know, and I mean to do it. Um, Uncharted yeah. is so... Do you, have you played Tomb Raider? I did a long, long time ago. Now, now, casually, right? Like, this was back when I barely, barely played, and it was usually because somebody else had a console. So I have definitely played, like... First generations Tomb Raider. Back when she have had you watched? Booth. Have you watched Indiana Jones? Yes. I Not have. the crystal. No. Whatever it was. <laughs> no. That was just absolute balls. But no. have you watched the actual good Indiana Jones? Uh, yeah. Why it's it have like to be that. Snakes? It's like you it are. Like you it. are basically Indiana Jones. <laughs> <gasps> well, I don't know how you're gonna. Well, first of all, if you want the story, you can get it through these pictures. But second of all, um, I don't know if you just see what. Greg wrote in the chat. Uh, is Greg now enigmatic? He switches up his username. Yeah, is it Greg or is it? I don't know. Why? Who why? why uh, stop changing your username. Uncharted games are overrated. You're not missing a lot. Uh, I disagree with that. I think that Uncharted is your classic cover based shooter so if you're looking for something that's going to change your life that's not going to happen but if you actually just like going into games and feeling like a hero then it's basically lots of gunfights tied together by not a bad story that's what I'd say uh, just running around and I did watch Nolan North and Troy Baker play Uncharted together and I love Nolan North made a t-shirt, or I love that he made a t-shirt that says Circle to Dodge. What is it, Circle for Cover or Circle to Dodge? Something oh, I can't like remember. That. It's been so long since I played them. But um, yeah. But Uncharted is funny, 
it's like the the protagonist like Nathan Drake is witty and smart and it's kind of like the male Tomb Raider but possibly no actually I, I was going to say possibly with a rich story but I don't think there's much between them actually mm-hmm. um Uncharted can sometimes feel like the story is there just to pull together a bunch of gunfights. But if you're somebody who likes combat and you like a fast-paced story and a game that's not too long, and it is open world, but it's also kind of linear in that you can explore each individual area, but you can't ever really get lost. It always directs you down a certain line. Mm, gotcha. So if people don't, don't have a massive amount of time, you can explore each area, but it's not so open world that you're going to have to put 150 hours in. Um, There's a lot of really good, he's quite agile, you know, the movements are really good, the combat's really good. Um, I I just think it's it's brilliant, but, you know, what you get in the second, third and fourth games is very much the same, which is great if you love it, uh, because it's more of the same. The first one's a bit weird for me, because they have these dodgy, creepy, zombie, weird things that crawl on for two arms and two legs. Like, they're like little... Yeah, it's it's just, it, you know, when you play Uncharted 2, which, and somebody said this in the comments, actually, is by far one of the better games. Um, I quite like 4 as well. Didn't mind 3. 1 was a bit weird. But, uh, oh, you have to play them, yeah. I will at some point. I actually I um, do need to go back and play some things I missed when I was not a console gamer. I think you can get the whole, uh, well, not the whole. Oh, I have it. I own it. Uncharted collection. Isn't that sad? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it sad that I own it and I've never played it? Oh, it's, it's <laughs> good fun, but I, I, I think if you want to experience Uncharted the way it should be played for the very first time, either stick with the default normal difficulty or what I do, it, like even after I completed the game on crushing, I loved it so much. I went back, set it to easy, and just felt like a freaking hero. I'm sure, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I've done that with a few. Um, oh, what's here? I think I've done that with a few, um, like Call of Duty, once or twice. You just go I've back once you complete it. Played. We're, we're trading now. You've never played an Uncharted game. You've I've never played never a Call of Duty. Played a Call <gasps> of Duty because it's first person, and I'm terrible at first person. You, you don't enjoy it either, if I remember correctly. You're not a huge like. You don't really love. If, am I am I right on that? You you you're terrible at them, but you also don't really enjoy them. Do I remember here, or is it because you're not um, great at them you don't enjoy them? <laughs> I I the only first person game that I like is the original Doom, and that's because you're not punished too heavily. If so, for me it's coordination. So when I'm looking through the eyes of somebody, I I can't platform or make my way over narrow ledges or whatever because I have no sense of perspective uh, indeed that, that doesn't matter because generally you're always on one level you know so I, I don't mind forgiving first person but first person that depends heavily on you being able to platform from that perspective I'm, I'm really really bad at um, I'm just looking at the chat uh, the end of Uncharted 1 comes out of nowhere SD, yeah, I, I totally agree. Um, enigmatic play, a thus far undetermined person. Is that you? <laughs> a thus far undetermined. Um, I love it. To be TBD. That is TBD. saying you just misspelled generic QTEs. Is that? Oh. <laughs> QTEs, is that from. Uh, are you talking about Uncharted? Yeah. The worst puzzles in video games, too. Oh, he highlighted his comment. It is Greg. Oh, Enigmatic is his phone. Okay, cool. See, this is what I get, guys. I was telling you that are I you, really need to... Are you talking about Uncharted? The worst puzzles in video games? Are you, are you having a stroke? <laughs> Nuts. I totally disagree. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> are you I having totally a disagree. Stroke? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Go, go, dial 111 <laughs> mm. and get some help. <laughs> I'm um, just looking real quick to see um, where the next level is because it's not showing me. Uh, and then once we... Oh! Duh. 
Okay, you guys are gonna laugh when you see this. But once we get to the next level, I will go ahead and um, call it a night. I'm so just tickled that you came to join, Ms. Shell. Yeah, I wasn't planning to actually. Yeah. Um, I I was just I just finished a chapter on Skiro and decided I couldn't take any more. And then I saw <laughs> you were streaming and Needed I thought oh, I can watch chill. I can watch yeah I thought I can watch Tiny stream and then I realized nobody was joining you like on the mic. So I thought yeah why in. not? Well, we are going to do Doom at some point, guys. Um, this is where I tell you what's up next. We are going to do Boss Fight Friday. So more to follow on that on exactly how we're going to end up. Uh, piano on how we're going to end up making that happen um, because it may be a little bit complicated but we'll figure it out it'll happen and then so that also means let me know if you want to participate let me know if you want to be on party chat like where people can hear you or not because I don't want people to feel um, like they can't participate or they don't want to participate because they don't they're shy and they don't want their voice to be heard it's fine and we can turn off the audio for like you'll still hear the chat will still or the stream will still hear, still hear me but they won't hear you so they'll just hear my responses to you um and if you've got a boss you're stuck on after we do i think it's going to be my final boss and then sd and ollie would, would like help with theirs um we'll go and we'll open it up to anybody else who has boss fights to help with in bloodborne sorry i can't help you in Sekiro shell <laughs> <laughs> actually um somebody did ask earlier in the chat um and i'm gonna ask you if it's okay for me to say uh, when I'm next streaming. Is it oh right yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm just going to run um, around for a minute, by the way, so don't feel like I, uh, you know, we, we are finished for the most part, but I, I feel like this is a much happier set of scenery to end on than what we've been seeing. So, <laughs> so feel free. Yes, when are you streaming next and what are you streaming next? Uh, well, I'm hoping to stream again on Saturday as part of Samurai Saturday, but I don't... Well, basically, I'm hoping to finish my second playthrough of Sekiro this week but I have to play it a third time because I haven't collected enough Lepis yep. in Lazuli oh that's ridiculous um, if you ask me so yeah it might be fun to see new game plus plus if I get that far <laughs> or um, yeah I haven't decided yet if if I'm going to just be showing you the same thing over and over because I've pretty much uploaded all of my first playthrough of Sekiro I, I might not stream or I might just bin off Samurai Saturday for a weekend and do something different, mm -hmm. but it depends. Um, so in theory, streaming on Saturday, and you know if you're around, Tiny, by all means. It's oh always sure. Nice to have you in the chat. <laughs> um, Thanks. Yeah, sure thing. But uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't decided yet whether it's worth a stream or just worth a capture, like a private capture. Oh I'm yeah. Saying. That's a hard to choice it. too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it if it weren't so repetitive, then I would absolutely live stream it. But you guys, like who follow the channel, will have seen most of these fights before. So, um, so yeah, it's more dependent on you. I guess I might put a poll up and say, "This is where I am. Do you want me to what stream do you want me to what do? comes next, or do you want me to just?" capture it privately and then you can watch it or not so yeah well hopefully um either way you know it'll just be nice to see more Sekiro I almost I, I do feel a little bit of a, like maybe I won't have to play because Shell's playing Sekiro on her own <laughs> 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 maybe maybe I can just sit and watch who knows but have I know you thought about awesome. playing Sekiro now yes. that you've had a taste of FromSoft now that I do yeah and it's funny I was saying yeah. earlier like I have played I feel like Drakengard is a really hard game, guys, even on... I can't remember if you get difficulty choices. But, you know, I was kind of, like, down on myself, and then I had to think about it. Oh, yeah, I have played hard games before. So, um, yeah, yeah, back on trying to do more difficult games. And FromSoft, like you were saying, it's amazing how much you improve. So those of you who may be still watching and who are trying a FromSoft game, please just... I know it's frustrating at times, but continue to give it, give it a shot. Um, get through your first boss, and then make a choice. Yeah. You know, if you don't get I mean, that I, th rush. I would say it took about 50 hours. I mean, I obviously I work quite a lot as well outside of gaming, but it probably took about 50 hours to do my first playthrough of Sekiro, and I'm almost finished with the second playthrough after about six. So you don't know you're getting better. 
because it always feels frustrating. But trust me, uh, I'm somebody who just always avoided from soft games. And I think if you actually go onto the channel and look back at my first ever video, I actually say that that I've been constantly intimidated by from soft games because I don't have enough time to practice and get good at them. Um, it's it you don't need to actually. It's it's just something that you can pick up and get better without even knowing it. So yeah, it's true. 100%. Yeah, you felt like you found that with Bloodborne. I did, yeah. Um, or I have been, and I will continue. Gosh darn it, so close. And I will continue to find that, I'm sure. Um, you know, it ebbs and flows. You have your good days and your bad days, like with any game. But overall, I, I look back at my old streams and when I was super tentative or nervous and didn't know what was going on, and for sure you improve like a ton. It's amazing. Really do. And do you know what? I think a lot of it is psychological as well. It is. Suffering. I don't because know if I told this... you. Oh, go, oh, go on, Karen. I don't no, know no, if I... Be... I. I don't know if I told you. Someone had said it's very meta, but someone had said that they realized that part of why they were doing so poorly is that they were scared of FromSoft games, and that once they yeah. stopped being scared of FromSoft games, it got, it got a lot easier for them to um, yeah. to like play them. Yeah, so. no, that's completely true, and actually, I always had in my mind when I first started playing Sekiro that I would get up to the final boss, but that would be where it would end for me. <laughs> because I would, you wouldn't I would be able never to get, get past. Yeah. I'd never get past a four-phase boss fight, not a chance, because I just don't have enough time to practice. But I wanted to play the game, so I'd always accepted that, that that would be where, where it would end. So, And patience, you know, was, too, right? right? Like, it's not it. just yeah. that. And controllers... There are not enough controllers in the world. <laughs> there are not enough, well, I mean, you've seen the photo, say there are not enough controllers in the world. But um, <laughs> I think when I started New Game Plus, I didn't, it was so weird, right? Because I had no idea that in From Soft Games, New Game Plus is associated with generally a failure to step up in difficulty. Like yeah, you look at the change. health. Yeah, you look at the health on the bosses, and it's yeah. so ridiculous. So, I mean, this isn't anything, uh, not a reflection on you, but until I spoke, until I spoke to you and you said, oh, good, like, from good luck. game, game <laughs> plus, good luck, I had aced every single fight in new oh, game no, plus, because I, I felt so overpowered, right, and that, no, it's fine, it's fine, because I got over the psychological hurdle, but... After you said that, I thought, crap. So I looked it up online and everybody was saying, yeah, the difficulty increases by X amount per cycle. And once I got them, that it's in like my head... like a percentage, head, I think, right? Like it's a percentage. Yeah. Really, it's not a set number. Or maybe it is effect, a set number. The effect was immediate, like on my gameplay. Like I had I'd done brilliantly. And it wasn't that the next boss I faced was particularly tricky. It was just that I then had it in my mind that... I couldn't do it, you know, and, and it took it. That's why it's so psychological, because until I had an idea, you know, and looked online and read around it and realized that it might be harder, I just thought that I'd be overpowered. So I, you know, I was charging through fights and doing really well. Yeah. Nope. And then I, Cause that's a I looked game. into it a bit more <laughs> and then thought, crap. Because that's a and, normal um, game. Yeah. And, it, you know, then I over, I sort of stepped back and thought, well, you know, actually, that is just psychological. It I'm is. still playing it exactly the same way I was playing before. And it, it dissipated and it's been fine. But it is very much about their reputation, I think. You know, A little bit. They kind of stick with the things things. that we know. Yeah. 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 So but, Trash um, Pandy is going to bed. I do see Sly Fox Steve. Hi. Yes, we're on Ravel after all. The poll... Barely, it's like 51.7% and 49.3%. So it's just barely for unravel. <laughs> I know that I've been sitting here trying the same thing 50 times while little poor little Yarny gets carried away. So, um, so yeah, yeah, we'll uh, we'll call it for now. Um, especially because Shell, I know that we will stay on stream for the rest of the night if we're not careful. And you and I both have work in the morning so I don't yeah, want to absolutely. do that to you yeah but um oh darn it of course right when I finish the stream is always when a few more people pop in I see you all I'm so <laughs> sorry go back and watch this later well Sly Fox luckily you can see it again you can watch it again on YouTube shortly I will upload this um I'm like four videos behind it I'm so sorry for this but I will upload this 
on the YouTubes right away, so it should be within the next oh, 30 minutes or so. It'll be up. And you, did you say you're on again on Friday? I am on again on Friday. It will be Boss Bot, Boss Bot, Boss, maybe Boss Bot, hopefully Boss Bot Friday. Um, but Boss Fight Friday, and we're going to do a little bit of a community thing where you guys can pop in. So I will keep you What posted. time do you start on Friday night? I, I love that you're my hype man and you help me with these things that I don't remember for myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll be, yeah, it'll be um, 5.30 or 17.30 Central. Uh, and then it will be um, whatever time that is. Gosh, it's like 11.30. Or half 11, as you guys say, um, GMT. GMT. Yeah, so um, I will definitely come back uh, to post this stuff on YouTube and Boss Fight Friday as well. It is a Friday night, so it's Friday Friday Night Flamingo. Um, Quick Hatch hopefully will be able to ghost. I know he's worried about there being a ton of people in chat but or on the party line, but I don't think it's going to be a problem, guys. And if you do want to participate in Boss Fight Friday and have some help um, with any of your bosses, just shoot me a note and let me know if you want your audio on or not, and I'll make sure I have a list ready so that we can pop I, I, I may watch it on Friday night, but at 11.30, um, <laughs> I, I, may, I may be logged out mentally, so I probably won't join you on the mic. <laughs> oh, that's just fine. You know, I'm always happy to have whoever. I'm, I'm logged out mentally most times when I'm doing Bloodborne, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, so guys, I may um, come back on tonight, and if anybody's interested in some Chalice Dungeons, totally not chill. Oh, but what are you, you doing sleep... to me? Because I, I asked you in your last stream, I said, what is a Chalice Dungeon? And a bunch of people, including yourself, I think, said, oh, just don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> and now I really want to know. Oh, uh, <laughs> I will send you something. It's, I, I think might it's... have to watch. Yeah, so remember, I, I told um, Dave from Access that he really should plat Bloodborne, and then everyone's like, no, the Chalice Dungeons. Here's the thing, guys. Um, oh, Sly Fox Steve is going to stream. Hey, feel free to yeah. tag me, and I will re I will retweet if you're on. I can't remember. I think you are on Twitter, but send me oh, a note. Oh, you're streaming for the first time, which I've got to admit, I I haven't like. I mean, neither of us actually have, have been streaming for that long, but I think mm -hmm. Tiny, you do it more regularly than I do. But I remember the first one; it always feels a bit weird. <laughs> it always it feels does. like if you yeah. can get somebody on the chat with you, it helps an awful lot. Otherwise, it, you can. If you're a nervous person, I found it quite intimidating. I don't think I would have done it without Tiny. <laughs> yeah, I ghosted honest. for... Did it, was it your first stream? Yes, it was. I ghosted yes, for you. Yes, it was, yeah. It's it was nice to have one. someone online. So, you know, totally any of us who've done it before, you, when we pop into chat, if we pop into chat, if we're available, don't feel bad if you're like, hey, can you pop on the party line? Um, and you know kind of help me out reading the chat because it's just it is a lot to balance and you guys see i miss people in here um shell misses people in here it just happens it's because we're trying to pay yeah, attention to a lot of stuff so if you need help feel free to ask for it right like if you need help retweeting or whatever if you need yeah, help yeah definitely stuff. yeah definitely. go ahead the retweeting's good actually and like i think if if you have quite an active chat and you're playing a difficult game it really like it i guess what you find the same tiny when you're playing Bloodborne, just like when I'm playing Sekiro. Those are the games where actually it's really hard to monitor the chat because you have to have periods where you're silent and focusing and you feel a bit bad for leaving people in the chat. You feel like you're leaving really them in the lurch, time. yeah, and then especially yeah, if someone has to go to bed and you, you don't get to say bye or you don't get to say hi. It's like, yeah, oh, no, yes. but it happens. It happens. But yeah, so, good yeah. luck. Good luck for your first stream and um, it'll be brilliant, I'm sure. I'm sure too. But yeah, so Chalice Dungeons, I, I, uh, people hate them, but I think of them as like little mini games, right? Because a lot of times in Bloodborne, you're like, you don't want to stop in between things. So they're not very long levels, and there's actually levels to them. And I think that they're meant to be like a, um, a uh, co-op playground, where you just get in there, and you play with friends, and you do like a level or two, or a level or 12, and then you, uh, you leave. So I do think that... Dave from Access and also Greg in our chat should plat Bloodborne. I didn't know Rosie was a Bloodborne person, so it'd be great if Dave and Rosie hopped in and did some Chalice Dungeon action for that last, um, the Queen yeah. Yarna boss fight. So. I mean, Dave's put quite a lot of time into Bloodborne by the sounds of it. I, I mean, I knew yeah. he played it, but I didn't know exactly how much. I think that he, said, he mentioned something in a recent video. It was like the last one or the one before. Um, and mentioned Bloodborne again, and I thought, yeah, he actually did put quite a lot of time into it, didn't he? Uh, he just did. to say bye to Sly Fox Steve, he says, um, 
we shall see, I think, in reference to his stream. Uh, uh, see you later, guys. Bye. I Bye. think Thanks. it will be good. Yeah, I think it'll be good. I think you'll be fine. Once you once you kind of get the, the feel for it, you'll get addicted. Quick and I were talking about that today. <laughs> you get a little bit addicted. Okay, so I think that does right. it. We'll see you when yeah. we see you, folks. Um, thank you again, Shell, for popping in. I know that it was a little bit darker. Like, the theme was a little bit darker today, but still pretty. Still pretty music. I'm absolutely going to play this game. <laughs> it's just it looks so really cute. Good. So, so cute. If anybody wants to make me a Yarny, feel free. <laughs> and uh, I do have to start commemorating. When we finish games, I will start getting stuff and putting it on Twitter for you guys. Like little things, art books for the big games. But for little games like this or Grease, um, we'll get something pretty so that we can all commemorate together that I've finished a game with you guys. Um, I was right. going to say, I do like the name of the stream as well, Unravel and Chill. And <laughs> yes, next you time, it, you can always just uh, <laughs> call it Yarnage. <laughs> yarnage, oh, that's true. There is some definite Yarnage on these streams. So, yeah, um, catch you guys all on the, on, the, on the Twitter. My DMs are still open on Discord, even though I'm not in the big Discord. So feel free if you want to connect with me there. And then you can always send me notes here on Twitch. Um, check out the other people who are in the chat. A lot of them stream. Uh, stay connected with each other and um, let's see what should I say this time what should my what should my command for you guys be this time um, no, I mean I, I always like flamingo out but you said you had some trouble with that for some reason oh no I didn't <laughs> um, I usually give you guys like a mandate so how about how about be chill we'll say be chill tonight be chill yeah it's a good be one chill. be chill all right folks <laughs> flamingo out <laughs>